Good morning, afternoon, and evening, everyone. This is Hippie Tesla. Welcome to episode four. Damn, I should really remember what I wrote there. Episode four, I think, of Resident Evil on the GameCube. <laughs> no, they've hidden the 120 hertz mode, Mayo, because the zombies would be too fast. <laughs> Hello, welcome, everyone in chat. Welcome, welcome. How's everyone doing? Hi, Mark. How's your engineering life? He thought I would ask something different. <laughs> Hello, Carter. Hello, Mayo. Zombie. Lyubka. Welcome, everybody. Welcome. Zdravo, Eko. Zdravo, Nina, Gagi. Kako ste, bre, dečice? Uvijek zdravo. Šta se dešava? Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. Thank you, love. Thank you, sweetie. I'm holding the channel. <laughs> Zdravo Gamute, zdravo. Hello comrade Gamut, I hope you good. I hope you 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 good today. Work treats you well, right? <laughs> well that's a that's a nice demo I gotta say. I, I can I can keep talking and it just keeps doing its thing. Showing you how to play the game. It's one of the very few Resident Evils where you don't hear the announcer if you like if we went to the new game. Resident Evil Sexy, but if you go load it for some reason they decided you know what they don't want to listen to that every time we do especially like in the original first that announcer was like no 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 one did it like that again All right file six <laughs> outbreak file six imagine if we had that man we would have six files by now i'm pretty sure They would make it happen. All right, we got the Beretta. We're going out. Cleanup job. We reach the lab. Very little left to do. Probably going to be a shorter episode. Unless I make it better. My God, these backgrounds. I'm... Arr! There he goes. That's what I was hoping for. Hello, sir. So I guess that's, that's, that's Lurch. My God, why did they employ Lurch from Adam's family? Down, boy. Sir, please. I'm trying to run a business here. Jesus fucking Christ, man! <laughs> there you go. Wow. You dead for good? Yeah, he's dead. He's bleeding out. All right, I need my I need need my um, Ghostbusters <laughs> Zombusters <laughs> kit, which is a flask and lighter now if i if i was here if i were here i'd probably use the flask for alcohol to calm my nerves while uh, setting zombies on fire with the lighter they're flammable enough but i'm, I'm not here i'm on the other side of the screen <laughs> yep true ray tracing it's amazing what this game looks like it was developed what, what like year 2000 let's check if there's another uh he's he's kissing the puddle Let's try to pile them up. Oh, there he is. How about there in the corner? Yep. Follow me, sirs. I got I got an offer you can't refuse. Head pop, head pop. This looks like a perfect place to use the double shotgun. No, don't be greedy. Just fucking pistol them to death. Come on, I need you to die here on the pile. <laughs> Come on, am I pulling them? Come here. Come here. Can't can't do that here. <laughs> That's all right. You you timed it perfectly, Mark, my boy. I replayed Alien Resurrection. The game indeed runs. Yep, it does. Well, it, I yeah, it does run a lot. Very very little in your stream did I see. Uh, Frame drops. Let's try to let's try be pro. Wow, out of I gotta reload. I gotta reload my shooting gun. Come on, let's do the dance. Come on, everybody together. Hell yeah! Someone pretending? No one's pretending. Let's see how many can we extinguish at once. At least two, and I'll be happy. Cause no no heads were burning. Don't burn your feet. Ah, yep, that's what I was... Ah, Jesus, I can't move. All right, twofer. 
and I got burned, but that's okay. You, sir, hold on, I got something for you. Almost perfect three. All right, so we have, we can burn four more zombies. Wait, since they're all downstairs, this, like, this room is actually connected, unlike in the original. Let's see if there's someone else downstairs to, like, pull him here. Nah. It isn't, actually. There's a door. Okay. At least the stair. Because they avoided the stair loading in this, in the remake completely, right? There is, I don't remember, yeah, there isn't a single stairs, you know, loading screen. There's doors and ladders. That's it. Nothing else. You actually find ray tracing meme function. Well, it is a marketing ploy, really. You, you mean, I tried it. It's, I think the game where I where I tested it the most was Control. And while it does, you know, look more real, it's still an image on the screen. It's totally playable without it. You know, like you're not missing much if you play it without ray tracing. It's not like you're you're not gonna see the best parts of the game. It's just Shoots and ladders. Do it again, all from the beginning. All right, Mark, here we go. <laughs> Let's start it all again. You know what? Make a double green. I think we have. It's gonna be good, yeah. And I still got four greens. Yeah, we, you know what? No, too much. Two of them. If I find two red herbs and not a single green one, that's okay. I mean, I'll live with it. There you go. Nice. Look at this collection. She, Irons is just gonna fire me as soon as I go back to stay. Like, Jill, what the fuck are you doing with a box of weed? Like, mixed varieties even? Green and red? <laughs> is that why I sent you? He knows why he sent us. He's, he's in the conspiracy. The raccoon conspiracy. Look at these details. My god, fuck. Jeez. I have nowhere. Like the cobwebs on the railing, the reflection in the pool. This is GameCube. This isn't like it's It's not the Switch. It's not the 360. I argued that RE1 and RE0 on the GameCube look better than a lot of games on the early games on the 360. Part of the desk is covered in what appears to be some kind of acid. Don't touch it. You just took a disc off of there. Are you crazy? It's locked electronically. Oh no, it's the one locking mechanism I can't hack. I don't have Wheatley with me. <laughs> Wheatley. Is that enough pistol? Yeah, that's enough pistol. Let's let's retire the pistol. You served us good, buddy. It's time to it's time to take some heads off. You think so, huh, Mayo? It's a it's kind of a dead race between uh, GameCube and, and and Xbox. But what pulled Xbox through the first Xbox is, uh, you know, the hard drive and the fast. Uh, what do you call those buses? But I, I I think you're right that GameCube did had, yeah, more memory, faster buses, and hard drive. Still ahead of the PS2. It's 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 just amazing how it goes. Hello, Delmar. Hello. <laughs> Welcome to the stream. Yeah, well, not, not RAM even. RAM was like still... I think GameCube and Xbox were pretty close, but it's the... It's not... I think you mean storage memory, right? Mini discs? Two gigs? Okay, never mind. See you later. The mini discs, mini DVDs, and even proprietary. So what's 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 unique about these uh, GameCube and Wii discs? So there's there's two um, two formats of recording these discs. One is called constant angular velocity. The other one is called constant linear velocity. So most discs or CAV and CVL, CAL and CVL. Most discs. They, they start reading from the center and it like spirals out but like the opposite of what the record would do and the the more laser moves to the edge of the disc the slower the disc spins so 
because of course there's more there's a bigger circumference around the edge of the disc than around the center so basically it's traversing the same distance over the laser and that's how they compensate but gamecube and we did did the the opposite thing one of so two opposite things first it read from the edge of the disc to the center like like a record player would and second like a record player it always spun at the same speed which helps with loading speed so there's no like the adjustment uh, period like when the disc needs to adjust speed like the PS2 Play and any other needs yep but you know it does cost space then instead of like I don't know 2.5 gigs you lose a half a gig there because well you're wasting some space to make loading faster which was an excellent gaming decision don't get me wrong they were that, that was really thinking good except you know the space <laughs> you're missing space all right let's pick these up so yeah that made it a memo on the message board cat catches your attention <laughs> uh there's something scrawled on the notepad to use the electronic door please no place please the initials in alphabetical orders so we got body parts, which like you should know if you've been in eighth grade elementary biology, or I think even sixth, but sure. So it needs to be in alphabetical order. Let's examine. A name is on it, Clark David. All right. So that's C D and G H. That's that's okay. That's pretty simple. X ray of Clark. Wait, let's examine it before. Yep, it really says Clark David. Yeah, that's right, Mayo. They, they were all unique. PlayStation's big winning point was, you know, being Sony PlayStation, which won the audiences with PS1. And the other big one was the DVD player. It was very easy to convince your parents. So I hear I couldn't convince mine, <laughs> even if it had a fucking rocket launcher on it. But, uh... It was really easy, apparently, for kids to, you know, convince their parents to get them an, a PlayStation 2 because, well, you can play DVDs on it and it costs less than a DVD player, which was real smart on their side. I mean, the, you know, the marketing, Sony marketing side. There's some kind of a switch. Well, yeah, please do. Part of it, it's glowing. So we got the, what's that, the colon, the rectum? R, E, esophagus, L liver and l lungs let's just make sure that's a rectum and not like anus no nope, it's colon so cell it's not rel it's cell okay okay researcher's letter letter of a researcher my dearest ada ha huh? june 8th 1998 my dearest ada by the time you read this letter I will no longer be the person you once knew. The results of my test came out today and, as I suspected, it came out positive. I feel like I am teetering on the edge of reason just thinking about my impeding doom, impending. I would give anything not to have to become one of them. As far as I know, you are not infected. I sincerely hope things do not reach such a desperate pass. But if it has turned out that you are now the last person remaining alive, I want you to get the material from the visual data room. Then, activate the self-destruct system in the power room and escape from here. Please, do everything in your power to make this whole accident public. If everything is still running normally, you should be able to release all the locks using the security system. I have set up the terminal in the small security room so that you, you can log in to the system using my name and your name as the password you will need another password to release the lock of the door in the basement too where the visual data room is located as a safety measure i have coded that password into an x-ray picture a rentgenogram i know you and i'm sure you will be able to work it out without any trouble there is just one more thing and it is my last request i hope you never have to lay eyes on me in this state but if you do happen to run into me in my hideous form, I beg you to put me out of my misery. I hope you understand. Thank you, Ada. I mean, Ada! 
Yours truly, John. Well, that's that's Leon's name of calling her. <laughs> John Doe. John. Ada. Oh my. That's it. That's green. Green. Okay, we got all the greens. We got the document. Let's get out of here. Yeah, it's really sad because we know ultimately what we, who Ada is and what she's like. It's really sad how like this guy. Who oh, is that? Please be shells. Are you shells? Hello, shells. Are you shell? You look like shells. Hello. Please talk to me, shell. No, that's that. You look probably just some kind of a pot. This medical equipment looks like it was abandoned in the middle of use. I think that's the that's what the first movie was. Oh, there must be an item here. I'm pretty sure it's red. Oh, it's not red. Never mind. My bad. Locked. What about the security system? Whee! Oh, it's different here. Yeah. Levers for releasing the door locks. Now, if you can just release the locks on the levers, <laughs> it's baby steps, Joe. Baby steps. You can just get those levers on the side to work. It should open. Or you know, use all the explosives. Like take ten of those shotgun shells, make a make a make a custom made dynamite, and just blow the fucking door. <laughs> Ada! Yeah, even Lupka knows who Ada is. What she did. Hello, sir. Do you have a blow up, blow upable head? Oh, you do. Well, that's very nice to know. Blow upable. Is that a word? It is now. Okay, I think every fucking zombie can grab me by the end of the game. Like, even I wasted more than ever these, and I still have 6-6. Six, six. Jeez. Really generous. The shelves are lined with large and small containers. Tiny eggs cling to the side of the containers. Ah, ah, no, not tiny eggs. We don't like tiny eggs around these parts. Tiny eggs make us think there's a spider that's gonna blow up. Oh, there's no one there. Just one zombie. Okay. I keep expecting pale heads. You know the naked zombies. <laughs> Agent John. Agent Ada. Oh, I believe in zombies. I do not believe in zombies. <laughs> part of a corpse lies on the operating table. Part of a corpse. Where's the other part? What happened to the rest of it? Oh, yes. Thank you. Oh, I didn't open that F8 box. So we're going to have plenty of ammo. I can just go wild again. I thought it would be harder because it started harder. But man, by the end of the game, you got the whole arsenal. Two green zero. That's my herb. Oh, look, it's the game's logo. Biohazard. Little insects. So remember, I like I said, these backgrounds are are uh, looping videos. Very smartly, you know, framed videos with masks. So multiple layers. So you can get behind objects. That looks like you got behind objects. But they're just videos. So those bugs on the floor, I assume, are most probably just the looping video. Or maybe they're added on top like I am. Who knows? Oh, hi there, file. Finally, like at the end of the game, they're like, you remember that, uh, like those zombies that get up and become fiercer? Yeah, here's a file on them. <laughs> the only thing that tops it is Kenneth Stape. The Act, Researcher's Note, Researcher's Notes, The Act, well, it's the same, Researcher's Note. Well, for the, for once, the, the title of the, on the text and you know, on the, let's call it flavor text at the bottom is the same. There is now evidence that when the host loses consciousness, the body goes into a dormant state. Do uh, let's give him a better... <laughs> Possibly, yeah, they didn't state, but it's it's very possible. Either Bink or, you know, the one they used on... Um, okay, in Alien, Alien, I'm coming. I hope your back is as red as I remember it. Hello, Teste. Hello, welcome, welcome. Fancy schmancy computer man, how are you doing, bro? Uh, I forgot what. Yeah, but I'll break head like ADX. That's right. Audio and video can be separate, and can, you can seek and all that. It's AD, uh, it's possibly ADS, ADX. I'm great. <laughs> Apparently horny. <laughs> yeah, for those of you who don't know, Chaos here is my best friend. He has been for a long time, and I'm so happy whenever he can drop by the stream. Moo, yeah, it is. It is a moo, moo game. Okay, let's give him a better, better voice. There is now evidence that when the host loses consciousness, the body goes into a dormant state. 
During this time, the virus becomes active and rapidly transforms and reconstructs the basic position of the body. Yeah, I like that one. The host eventually mutates into a humanoid creature. We call them Reacts, because we're not really we're not really imaginative in this department. We're fucking scientists, not creators. Its speed is an amazing muscular development are particularly noteworthy. After transformation, it becomes more agile and aggressive. Already four of our researchers have died from trying to feed it. You fucking idiots! <laughs> Turning the place into an instant bloodbath. Ever since this tragic and barbaric accident, we have decided to call its kind Crimson Heads. That dangerous and precious prototype specimen can't leave be left there. We have to figure out the way to deal with it. Termination is definitely not an option. We finally decided to freeze the specimen and confine the body inside the basement of the backyard cemetery. Well, you can find a frozen body in a backyard cemetery that's surrounded by a furnace. Like, whee! <laughs> uh, yeah, it is. It is this almost, almost slob of wood. You know, Mark, now that I have better equipment, when I do the Remedy Marathon, which will be, you know, uh, Max Payne, Alan Way, Quantum Break, and Control, I'm going to redo the whole Time Knife bit, because I think the world, like, very few people have heard of it, and it hurts me. <laughs> Vampire survivors. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> An information management server it appears to be broken. Oh, hi there, computer. Wait, no. Can I can I cancel, please? Back. No, I gotta do it. I gotta do it for Ada. John. Is it John Ada or Ada John? Ah, it's it's yeah, it's it's the other way around. Uh, how do you? How do you stop? It's John Ada, isn't it? Because I remember the password was three letters and I was like, what kind of password? Try it. Because he was the researcher and he used her name as the password, so... He's gonna hit... Yeah. So, so you can't... Like, if you don't know the password, what? You can't get out? It's like you're fucked. You're locked in here forever? Nah, there must be a way. Oh, there is. Escape. There you go. I don't need to deal with this now. I'll be back. Yeah, it's something this like is that Proto Alexia? Look at that. That's Proto Alexia. Prolexia. The cadavers are frozen, wrapped in body bags. All right. Damn, you really like piled up herbs in here. What do scientists? What do scientists do? Well, they make zombies and smoke weed. Green herbs. One green herb it came oh, so fast his zombie. head fell off. Don't overdo it. Here we go. Smoke it, Jill. You're in a you're in a body bag factory. A variety of chemicals you've never seen before. Yeah, where's the Yes! Seven six. Still red? Nope. Nice. What about the cadavers though? Just frozen. They look like proto Alexias. I don't know why I called them proto Alexias because the the Alexia is far far away. Yeah, exactly. Mayo knows. <laughs> All right, let's do it now. John, Yubka. Speaking of John, can you please send him a message? Please, just enter, I guess, and then Ada. Ada. B3F instantly. Gotta love these sound effects. Why don't I have a 3D map in, in the game, like in Metroid Prime, huh? Because that would be really cool. Whoa, whoa. What was it? Cell. It wasn't mole, it was cell. Accessing grade. Permission granted. You are clear for landing. Sexy Wesky. Sexy Wesky and the Raiders. You are clear, clear for raiding. We have... We have power, we have doors, we have unlocked them. Thank you for the raid, Sexy Wesky. Welcome, welcome everyone. Welcome to Resident Evil on the GameCube. <laughs> uh. Wait, no, we, we did that. I don't need to do it again. Nice, all right. Just slowly get out. Nobody's gonna figure out what you were doing, Jill. A row of LCD monitors, they must once have been used to display something. 
No shit. <laughs> These conclusions. Hello. Hello, Simon. Hello, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Rupka. You were playing Resident Evil. Which one? This one or the other one? Like the OG or the or the RE? <laughs> thank you for the raid. Sweet Wesky. This one. Nice. I'm gonna guess you beat it in one go. Like instantly. Unlike your friend here. Reading everything. <laughs> Was it a knife play? Were you the knife guy? Yeah, of course it was the knife play. <laughs> the <laughs> sexy Weski, the knife guy. Let's put a yeah, let's put a GameCube disc into a GameCube. <laughs> Delmar, verified sound effect like that, you just launch a rocket in space. Like, oops, I thought I was setting my friend free, but apparently I just blew up, <laughs> blew everything up. Marvin the Martian is not happy. It's going great, man. What about you? I I, I love this game. It never stops being fun to play and funny like why why are you not dead is there anyone else there should be one more no again that was original i guess yep that was original all right let's burn him burn him sorry bro gotta be done here you go i send you away away from me into the nether realm goodbye you will be remembered as the guy who tried to bite my face off. Oh, what is this? More files? Oh my! Exciting. What? Well, where's the, where's that from? That's not a knife. This is a knife. I can't remember where that's from, but I know it. Man, isn't RE1 remake like the perfect remake, Wesky? What do you say? It never stops being fun, no matter how many times they beat it. That's that's the definition of a of a, of an amazing game. Yeah, that's right. I mean, I really should watch Crocodile Dundee. That, thank you, Mark. It's been years. It's been years. <laughs> facts. Fucks. I mean, facts. Prompt actions are demanded. It's funny. In Serbian, you would say fucks. <laughs> uh, Wesky agrees. Nice. That's not a noi. This is a noi. Yeah, that's how I remember it. <laughs> Two, sanitation division. Attention, manager of sanitation from Raccoon Disaster Contingency Committee. You guys knew this would go uphill and you still did it. <laughs> the contents of this fax are confidential and intended for the name addressee only. Any copying of this or disclosure of the contents of this fax to any third party is strictly forbidden by the sender. I guess we're going to jail. After reading, the contents of this fax must be destroyed immediately. What, like in the epic movie? This message will self-destruct in one second. What? <laughs> uh, Wesker! Man, I haven't seen it in a while. We gotta watch that. We expect significant increase in the damage done by the recent T-virus outbreak. Outbreak. That initially estimated. There are several concerns. First concern. More than half of the researchers have been infected by the T-virus and died. It has also been reported that almost all of the survivors of this accident are starting to show symptoms of the T-virus infection. Well, who would have thought we made a weapon to kill millions and we're killing millions? Bwah! Second concern. Our secret security patrol team... <laughs> oh, our <clears throat> secret security patrol team has also been completely eradicated. Because <laughs> they were secret? <laughs> Therefore, our most secret research is in danger of public disclosure. Quick actions are demanded to prevent mass media coverage. Third concern. There is a high possibility that most of the specimens are running loose inside the compound. We expect many ca casualties to follow. <laughs> I don't know when it says running loose in the compound. I just imagine like uh, Looney Tunes, you know, Warner Brothers characters running with their arms flailing around like ah, I can't fit in the in the frame. But you, you know the image I I, I instantly comes to my mind <laughs> hunters and zombies just running loose however yet unfortunate these casualties underscore the success of our research results results actions must be taken to prevent our research results from being made public we suspect the first official intervention will come from the state police and stars we strongly recommend taking measures against them first Man, when you're a cocky, <laughs> when you're a cocky multinational, super rich, evil company <laughs> with plenty of resources. 
a security system <laughs> passcode transmission device why it looks just like my gamecube with the controllers and everything <laughs> if you had an mo disc you could transmit the passcode to the system right okay there let's do it that is pretty cool detail oh it's time come on <laughs> come on put the gamecube down now i'm trying to transmit the passcode transmitting passcode seems to have unlocked something ah ah Oh shit, I forgot. Oh man, this nobody likes this part. This <laughs> come out, there seems to be something behind this dirty door. Open no. Well uh, 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 later. Come out, we have to research the rest of the room. Yeah, but I burned the bastard. Yeah. We take this light filter. Yeah. Take this light filter. Engineer shall yeah destroy destroy everything stupid zombies in my way the skeleton structure displayed isn't quite human it's an x-ray photograph photograph okay this is pretty green let's let's get out of here before this guy wakes up he's not gonna wake up I I burn him stupid bugs I will step on you squish squish stupid girly man bugs <laughs> I'm taking, I'm taking the girly man <laughs> thing. <laughs> Let's get out of here. We need more more discs. More more discs, please. I need to set Chris free. Come on, Chris. I need your help. I need you to punch the boulders away, Chris. Come on, door. Open. I'm trying to pass fast. No time to open slowly. Quickly, we have to see the slide. What's on the slide? I need to know the secrets. Right now. Did we open it? Yeah, we open it. Let's put the shit inside the box first. There's a lot of shit to put in the box. <laughs> I need more fuel in my can. Give me the kerosene. There's only a little bit of kerosene left. Refill your fuel canteen. Yeah. You filled your fuel canteen with kerosene. Oh wow, I expected it to be maybe like brandy inside. <laughs> Don't be a girly man. Punch the door down, come out. <laughs> yeah, I can I can see that script going in RE. Damn man, normal is really generous. We need to put the weed down. We can't get caught by Wesky with the weed on. Wesky's our boss. He wants us to be free of drugs. And all the other bad influences that we may be as police officers. <laughs> Come on, door, be faster. I opened you many times. I know how to open the door. You just push it open. If it if it's stuck, then you pull the dangling thingy and it opens. And then you go to the door. That's the whole the whole process. Why is it so hard every time I have to stare at the door? Slowly pull the dangling thingy and then enter. It's stupid. It's girly. I don't like it. Hmm. We got another more disc. Oh, isn't that, isn't that lovely? Where's the more disc? Where's the GameCube? Give me the GameCube game. Come out. I need the GameCube. A screen for use with a movie projector. What is this? The film has been set into place. View it. Yeah. Umbrella. I knew it. Biogenic. Biogenic. Biogenic weapon. Official report. ME 39 Cerberus FI 03 Neptune MA 121 Hunter T 002 Tyrant Oh, that's me, that's me, that's Arnold in the future. I get claw hands and I have big, not girly man, sexy body. That is me. Bioorganic Weapon Research Group Development Staff. Look at that, that was me from the movie Terminator. <laughs> A3417062. Look, I am not a mathematician, I don't need numbers. Numbers are for girly men. I am a manly man. Give me number and bullets. Slide filter. There are lead red colored slides inside. Nothing's on it. Well then, we'll use it in this slide projector. Oh my god, everything is blood red. 
It's like that movie I was in, A Red Dawn or whatever it was called. <laughs> Look, everything is red with blood. It's telling me the future. It's the bad future. Oh no. Oh no. Look at me. Why am I with these geeks? I, these, these are all scientists. Scientists are girly men. Real men do not wear lab coats. Eight, four, six, two. I don't know what that is, but I will find out. It's less numbers, so Arnold can memorize it. What else is in there? <laughs> yeah, I'll take it. But only because, because I want it to be all green. And here we go, the map. I do need the map. How did you know that game? I like map. What else is here? What was the number? I already forgot what the number was. Let's try this again. <laughs> Wesker is a girly man. Not our Wesker. Our Wesker is a very manly man. But but this Wesker... <laughs> Thank you for that. Thank you for that mnemonic. Uh, chaos. <laughs> Videos are stored on the shelves. They're all security camera recordings. I don't have time to look at this garbage. I need to put the numbers in. Where is the phone? I need to call the president. It is me, Arnold. I need the numbers. A passcode entry terminal. Use it. Yeah. What was it? It was eight, four, six, two. What is that? That makes a cross. Why is it a cross? Why isn't it my fist that will destroy the world if I get too angry? Secret room. Yeah. I love it. The laboratory key. Yeah. We're going to Dexter's laboratory. I gotta punch that geek in the head. He's gonna grow up to be a girly man. Laboratory key. There's nothing unusual. Really nothing unusual. Look at it. It's got... Oh, now I see it. It's an electrical symbol that is imprinted. Very strange. I am not an engineer. Engineers... Well, they're almost girly men. They're towing the fine line between girly men and manly men. They're the middle men. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Some sort of image editing equipment. It looks like you can use it to view Kenneth's film. So Lupka and everyone else, if you could never play this, remember at the very beginning of the game, very first zombie that killed our comrade, we had to like go out of there, like go, Barry, save me, and then Wesker, and then there was no Wesker and all that. Then we came back to Kenneth's body, had a film. That was at the start of the game. Now we're gonna see it. Yeah. So the zombie ate... Okay, enough of that. So the zombie ate the camera? Like, how does that even work? <laughs> I, I see what they were going for with this film, but, like, the payoff is too late. It, anywhere earlier in the game, like, I think they messed this part up. Yeah, I agree. I think just... It could have should have been earlier in the game. You know, you get that. Wait, there's... I know there's another item. The one that's always bugging me. There we go. Security protocols. Security protocols. Basement level 1 to 4. So in that parody of Resident Evil I like a lot, for the first game, Resident Punchy, that's where I get the, the, sick, the this sick fuck's trying to eat my foot. <laughs> they made Kev, uh, Kevin, <laughs> can it say that? Like, because <laughs> near the end of the game, Jill walks in here and is like, okay, let's finally see what's on Kenneth's film. And it's like three seconds of him being eaten by a zombie. <laughs> and she's like, what the fuck was the point of this? <laughs> Level one, heliport for executive use only. The rich always fly, the poor have to trot, if they even do that. This restriction does not apply in the event of an emergency. So that's when you have to carry the executives up on your shoulder, I guess? Basement level 1. Passage to heliport. Entry is prohibited unless accompanied by a consultant, researcher, or the chief of security. In other words, sexy Wesky. Unauthorized persons entering the heliport will be shot on site. Elevator. The elevator stops during emergencies. Basement level 2. Visual data room for use by the Special Research Division only. All other access to the visual data room must be cleared with Keith Arving, room manager. Well, is, that the, is that the asshole who makes uh, Outbreak Games lag? I got a question for him. 
<laughs> That's true, Simon. <laughs> many, many times. Just loop, loop, loop. <laughs> Basement level 3. Prison. Sanitation division controls the use of the prison. At least one consultant researcher, E. Smith, S. Ross, A. Wesker, must be present if viral use is authorized. Triple lock door. Entry into the room is limited to the sole person who deactivates the lock with all the passcodes. Accessing the exclusive output terminals located in each section of the senior researchers deactivates the lock. I'm trying to be like this robotic guy. <laughs> Power room. In this room, nitro compound is used as the primary fuel, primary fuel source of power. Access is limited to headquarters supervisors. This restriction may not apply to consultant researchers with special authorization. Pass code output terminals. Use and access of the output terminals is limited to authorized senior uh, researchers. Basement level 4. Regarding the progress of tyrant. After the administration of T virus, illegible uh, hereafter beep beep all right that would have been good a um, really good message for uh for you know like the triggering system has been activated <laughs> you know i love that files count as collectibles in this game so the map is not red until you know you got them all you gotta catch them all you know but in re2 and re3 remix that's not the case and it really annoys me like i want all the files game why would you Tell me everything's found when there's still unread files. I missed some files in my first playthrough of RE2 Remake. Like stupidly, right there. Because it doesn't look like a file. I know now, but you know, in the first play it was not as evident. So, um, anyone wants herbs? I'm exporting herbs here. Well, that should be enough. You know what? Instead of that, so I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a little smarter now. We put these two back in. Since we're gonna have like surplus ammo. Yeah. For the chimeras, if like if they pressure me, I'll just use this. Gotta catch them all, gotta catch them all. Zombie mon. Imagine that, like. Ooh, I got a crimson head. Ooh, I got the first zombie from RE4. <laughs> Wanna trade? Nah, mine is better and faster. And stronger too. He's the first member of the zombie crew. Okay, nope, nope. Go back. Bloop, rewind that. <laughs> Actually, that would be a good song. ZK. Zonky Kong. Alright, where's the power? Power room. Key for the power area. What about this one? Key for the power area used again. <laughs> moo, moo, moo. Yeah, I think this is the room. Is it now? I can't gotta, I gotta remember. Where do I push this one? No, it's the other one. Come on, stupid shelf. I need your help here. Wait, do I want to put... Yeah, I want to push it. That's right. Should be more stuff here. Yep. That's, yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm, yeah, I'm gonna access this room from several sides, I think. I remember something like that. Or chimeras are gonna ask me some questions. Oh, jeez, that's cheating. That's also cheating, you dodged my grenade. Stop that. Jeez. None of that, please. I don't like... Bad chimeras dodging my grenades. Oh, this is actually... Is it welded? I think it's welded or something. Rusted shut. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here! Ah! Get climb, Jill! Iframes. There you go. Damn, they're not to be played with. Mm, got a lot of these. 
a security system passcode. Okay, another GameCube. That's right. That's why I'm doing this. There we go. Number three, two and three are done. Something, huh? Like you don't know what it what it did unlock, huh? Oh! That's right. Yes, I will. Now it's queen, queen. Fuck you. Reload, because I'm cocky. I'm cocky cocking my gun. Now kindly fuck off. Bye. Oh. There you go. Fully pushed. Bye. Kitty, we good? Look, you got so much space now. I worked on it, kitty. So you can have plenty of space. Is, it, is that the one rusted shot? How is it rusted shot in a laboratory that was used only a few, you know, months ago? Like, well, a few days ago, really, almost. Let's say a few weeks ago. Oh, will you stop with the first aid sprays? No one's using those things. They're they're bad for your eyes. Just gotta pile them up. I think I'm gonna have to start mixing three herbs at some point. So not even doubling helps. Look at this shit. Hmm. Chairs and supplies lie scattered about. The walls are covered with dozens of claw marks. How did they get to a safe room? Should I be worried? Grenade shells. Oh, yes. Hello, chimeras. No, don't save. I want uh, whatever that is. Oh, it's an ink ribbon. A pink ribbon. Various types of chemicals. The labels are too grimy to read. You can't tell what's inside. Well, I mean, that has nothing to do with the outbreak. That has to do with these people being walking pigs, I guess. Why wouldn't you clean your chemicals? The refrigerator isn't turned on. So it's not plugged in, or... Is there a button? So many questions and no one to answer them. I need another new disc because that one's gonna be the last one. That one's gonna be back there. I'm gonna need one of my doubles. Maybe even two of my doubles. My doubles, troubles. Yeah, bring two. It's not gonna hurt. Well, it's not gonna hurt me. It's gonna hurt them a lot. And even leave the shotgun shells. No, 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 there you go. And then charge! I gotta go get the, the capsule. I think I gotta get the capsule. I remember it that way. A charge! Sounds like there's a zombie, but... I don't see a zombie. But it sounds like pale heads are walking because of the clip clap. But uh, there are no pale heads here. Well, not in the way. Not in that way, of course. It's this room. Charge! No. We have to save Creasy. Something behind the sturdy door. Open it. Open it. Oh boy. Looks like a refueling device. Okay. Alright. Okay. So we gotta bring that thing there. And then gotta come back. And gotta take care because... Can't run. Can't shoot. So if I do this, I'll die. I gotta, I gotta be careful not to touch the B button. Oh, but what about Chimeras? Big butter boom. <laughs> Fifth element, I assume. 
Oh boy, so better kill those two guys, burn their corpses, unlike in the original where you can leave them. It's not advised here. It's not advised by me. I mean, you can do whatever you want, but... Doesn't need, need to be healthy. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, why would you do that, Jill? Are you working against me? Jesus Christ, stop that. Did you see that? <laughs> at the last moment, she's like, you know what? Let's shoot at the further guy. Wow. <laughs> Will it give me a heart attack? We're good. We're good. We got enough weed to survive this outbreak. Imagine what, what, what her nerves would be like. <laughs> Every time she gets bitten, <laughs> she takes a smoke, a toke. By the end of it all, like, they're, they're starting walking to her and she's like, Dude, why are you in Speedos? <laughs> uh, I want my zombie cleanup kit. We have to clean up outside. That scares me when she does that. Jeez. Is this the one? Where is it? Do they... Look, I know it felt like... Do they not leave bodies? Do they come back to life? It's confusing. Where's the body? You moved the body. Who moved the body? Alright, I'm either blind or there's no body. Huh. Okay. Makes it easier for me. I guess pale heads don't come back after all. It was a waste of kerosene on them. But better safe than sorry. Alright, lighter. Thank you. I retire you. I think the last time I used you, lighter. No disc, I do not retire you. Let's bring another help. Just in case something bad like this happens. Here comes a new door, here comes a new room. Alright. No, no, not the chimeras. I hate the chimeras. I fucking hate them. We need power. I don't hate them. They're pretty cool. Oh, enemies. Wow. Mutated flies. It's a direct reference to the fly. If you haven't seen the movie, go see it. It's a badass, very old badass movie. Oh, fuck, why did they do that? Alright, because I wanted this. Greedy bastard. That's green. Eat my bazooka. Alright, we got enough of it. Can you even... Can you even electrocute the chimera? There's something I would like to know. Yeah, I don't need to be here, that's right. I think I I think I messed around once and there's actually after a while they stopped coming. I remember something like that. I had surplus ammo like now, I saved and I just kept blasting them until they stopped coming. Now the GameCube should be here. There it is. Stop coming. Oh yeah, last time I played this, last summer. Was there something that's in the other room? I did everything right, right? <laughs> I get to the fucking end. Because I was hesitating with a rocket launcher. Barry dies. Like, the moment I fire the rocket, the tyrant kills Barry. Yeah! Cheating! You should have died from that, sir. Really? Wow, that's a that's a beefy one. RNG was kind to this one. Still got eight. You know what? I can totally survive this. 
plus dead. They die so dramatically. Warning, fuel may explode if shaken or jarred. Well, do not shake or jar. A refueling device for the power room. It's not working right now because there's no fuel. There's an empty capsule. You need to get that capsule. We gotta paraphrase so, uh, so Tommy doesn't sue us for stealing his line. Like, why would you have... How does that even... Is that a thing? I don't know. I, I'm an engineer. I've never heard of uh, nitro-fueled generators. But maybe it's a special application thing. Who knows? Five shotgun? Yeah, that's enough. Whatever comes my way, I'm ready. What I don't want to do is run or shoot. So, for that reason, I'm going butt naked. Examine. Fuel supply capsule. It's empty. Well, thank you. <laughs> that was information I couldn't figure out myself. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Resident engineer tuning in. This is me assuming you're pulling my leg. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> one day, <laughs> one day, far off into the future, when 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 Mark's dying and like calling for help, people are gonna be like, ah, good one, man, good one. <laughs> you got us, you got us all. <laughs> Bad rule. <laughs> oh. All right, here we go. No amount of drugs can help here. It's not necessary to use it now. Wait, I gotta do this, huh? Looks like a refueling device. It looks like. Geez. Does quick turn count in, in, in explosion? You got the fuel supply capsule. The main ingredient of this fuel appears to be a nitro compound. Running could result in a fatal explosion. Could. So that means it won't, maybe? Do not press anything. Right hand, loose. No buttons. Well, I need to press A, but do not run. Especially if you didn't save. <laughs> oh. Sneaky, sneaky. If I remember correctly, if I remember correctly, the I thought I heard the zombie. The chimeras do not spawn once you get this, right? Oh man, like no matter how many times I do this part, it, my hands get sweaty like I'm, <laughs> like I'm defusing a bomb. Well, I'm not, I'm just carrying it, I'm not even defusing it. What if I went to a save room and just put it in a chest? Would it blow the chest up? Please, God, please tell me they don't respawn. Because if one of them hits me, I don't think they do if you're fast enough at least. Come on, just a little bit after this. I can do whatever I want. Just come on. Do they smell nitro? So they're like, you know what? Fuck it. Not worth it. Woo. No, what do you mean? It's, it's very necessary to use it now. Oh, fuel supplying device for the power room. It's not working right now because... Yeah, yes! Oh, God. Oh, God. Do I need to press something? Fuel seems to have been supplied to the power room. Okay, are we clear for takeoff? I need to push a switch back there, right? Ah! God. Okay, yep. <laughs> there, I'm running. I'm running, man. Chill out. <laughs> All right, me and my trusty bazooka will take care of these girly flies, girly man flies. You just right, yeah, I remember the, the way, why would I even check? Charge! Charge into the unknown with your bazooka on. Oh, is that, does that mean there's only one of them left? Hopefully. So the elevator power is this way, I think. The lab's self-destruct mechanism, it's huge. Well, you've never seen one like that, have you, Jill? 
There's no power to the main elevator. Start it up. Start it up. Whoa, someone's drifting outside. There's a warning label. Shaking chemical fuel will cause it to explode. Well, too late for that game. Like, I, I could have been blown up to bits by now. Everybody, dance the hippie dance. <laughs> she would have been like Jill Toast. Jill, Jill, microwave meal. Microwave. Door. Door? Okay. I thought she was stuck on nothing. <laughs> Someone's gonna pop right in front of me. No? Alright, goodbye. I don't need this part anymore. So all that's left is the finale, right? Well, that then. We could go visit Chrissy right now, but we'll do it on the way back. As far as I remember, you can also do it... Man, I'm not sure now, actually, so... Yeah, we actually, yeah, you gotta, you gotta get him afterwards, that's right. I'm gonna save now anyway. This is our last save. That's the precaution one, in case I fuck up badly. That I can return. Pretty, pretty good ammo stack. We will need, now it's time to use these. I've been saving them up for this moment. Not even the double greens. Double greens. Do a double green now. There you go. It's ensure full health. Whoop. Yum. Hydrate. Time to charge. Here we go. Hydration. Ah. I forgot to make myself syrup yesterday. Really missed it. So. And again. <laughs> I finished with so, so much ammo. Why do I do this to myself? I could play so much more relaxed. So I guess we'll do this. No, actually. Actually, no. First of all, I want to lose these two for now. Because they're... While well, I figure out what I'm going to carry. I'm going to carry everything explosive I have, right? Or explosive. Everything incendiary and acid. But that's still... I have enough magnum ammo, right? I don't need to do this, I think. Think. So that's... 24... Just fire everything flame into him. Actually acid. No. Acid. Then we'll do flame. And then finish him off with the magnum. It's gonna be more than enough. Bazooka. There you go. Then magnum. Ammo. Alright. And then bring a bunch of health. Which is like two. Should be more than enough. And then that. There you go. Whip. Lounge, lounging around. So everything is green everywhere on every map. I haven't missed anything. Doop, doop. Yep. We've taken everything that was valuable in this house and the surrounding area. We're gonna need all this weed for evidence. <laughs> Whoa! I ran ahead of myself. It appears to be the control panel for the elevator. Press the switch. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, we did save Barry. Again, almost died there. The elevator is working. So we just need to keep him alive Jill. to the end. Barry. You could have at least waited up to him, you know? Let's go. She forgave him. Already, before even hearing why he did it, she forgave him. They were friends, they were. Wow, that's good vibrations. Thank you, GameCube controller. Man, it shakes like, like, like industrial equipment. A strong vibration. Oh, look at that thing, thing I absolutely don't need now. Well, let's go down this inconspicuous hallway, Barry. I'm sure nothing of value or story 
will happen right here at this place where I'm about to enter. Oh look, nothing's gonna happen, that's in the original. <laughs> oh look, it's the game's logo again. Hello, Biohazard. Wesker! Again, Barry. Thank you, Barry. Well, what do you know? Oh, don't blame Barry for everything. I hear that his better half and two lovely daughters will be in danger if he doesn't do everything. Two lovely right daughters, now. important. <sighs> Wesker, you're pathetic. Well, you shouldn't worry too much, dear. You'll be free of all this anyway. Why eliminate stars? Believe it or not, that's Umbrella's intention. <sighs> You're just a slave of Umbrella. Smart girl. But I think you misunderstand me. The things you mention are nothing. I'll burn all of them along with this entire laboratory. Barry, go up on the ground and wait there. Barry Dinosaury. Barry? No, Barry. <laughs> you gotta love Barry. He must really be afraid of Umbrella. <laughs> you and Umbrella took his family. Hello. Bastard. Oh, bitch laugh. Oh. Umbrella. Well, I used some carrots and sticks to cow him, but it had nothing to do with Umbrella. Carrots and sticks. Mm, can I get some? I just used Barry for my I've been hungry. interests. I've been hungry. Though both you and Barry seem to think I was following Umbrella's orders. What? What are you planning? I guess it's time for show and tell. Hello, Natsuno. Welcome to the stream. Good to see you. Hope you're enjoying the program. You got a guy in speedo. You could have—I could have shown you that. Like, just go to any pool. Oh, okay. He didn't have a. What is it called? Manicure? I'm glad. Good to see you. You didn't finish him. It's magnificent. For the sake of this thing. You know, I hate goodbyes. And you're dead. That's a fucking cold python. I'm sorry, silver serpent. Barry! Forgive me. How about no, I forgive someone blame. else? It's Umbrella and Wesker. Even if it meant my family, I couldn't bear turning my back on my friends. I again. couldn't bury that. <laughs> Shit! God damn it, Wesker. We could have skipped this boss fight. We had to ruin it for everyone. Oh yeah, you can't run all the way in this version. That's right, they made it harder. I remember now. Gotta... I think Barry's gonna help or not. I can't remember. As long as it's not two tyrants. So next time, if I die, I'll bring three healths. I just remember you can't do stuff around. <laughs> Jill and Barry, together. In hell. <laughs> Who wrote that line, bro? Did you write it yourself? <laughs> you want a piece of me? <laughs> he can barely what? believe it. Premature. Pre I got you gotta you gotta connect these two lines. Why run towards it? No, Barry. You viral cultured freak. Uh, <laughs> Why taunt him? Just fucking shoot him. I'm sorry, you just gotta you gotta love how like in the original he says with Chris. No, no, don't come this way, no. But then in the remake, he says premature. So if you put them together, don't come this way premature. Is that what he was saying? <laughs> Translation, oh, perhaps there are some members of the stars around here. Chris, stop it. <laughs> All right, let's, let's not dick around. This guy will slap me and there is no, I'm there. Okay, so I can go all the way back and try to dodge him. Just fill him full of bazooka. Did you miss with the acid bazooka? Slap me so we can... Ah! Oh wow, that's a double slap. Didn't say double slap me, I just said slap me once. Alright, we got enough room now. 
Oh wow, did you miss? Like look at look at the size of his speedo, you can't miss that. Huh. Premature indeed. Hello, premature, I'm Jill. Alright. The capsules contain a number of creatures too hideous to describe. Who could possibly be capable of creating such monstrosities? Well, premature. <laughs> do I wanna do I wanna explore something? <laughs> in the OG Chris goes, you can't kill me. Unless you mean elsewhere, because I thought he said that in here. Here in OG. No, I mean uh, Wesker. In the original, in Chris's scenario, when he releases the tyrant Wes uh, and he turns on Wesker, Wesker says, Don't come this way, no! And then, like, the ty tyrant stabs him. But in this version, he says, <laughs> Premature with Jill. <laughs> what the? T double O tyrant? Really, Mark? Oh, nice. That slow walk towards you freaked me out for a bit. I wonder if you saw the Dragon Ball OP X Biohazard video. Nope, I am really interested in that. Doesn't Chris laugh at it? Like, yeah, he does laugh. Like, <laughs> and he says, Chris, stop it. Wesker, you're pathetic. But then Wesker's like, I'm gonna show you my pee pee. And, uh, and it knocks him out. What a pathetic way to die. He's holding something. Observation note. Observation note. Observation records of the sample specimen. Let's give him the the later British sexy rescue voice. Yeah, the, this game this is just a fucking masterpiece. Do it on Discord, Mayo, so I can find it. It'll be lost if you do it. You can do it here as well, Lupka or Gamut, Sasha, any of the mods. Uh, please permit Mayo, but please do it in Discord too, so I can find it. Picture perfect. That's right. <laughs> hmm, quite, uh, quite, Chris. The discovery of the team virus was in fact 21 years after the administration of the pri primogenitor virus. It's progenitor, man. You, you were, you should know. <laughs> the prototype parasite, which we had delivered from a laboratory in France, was administered to the sample specimen. The sample specimen took in the parasite without showing any signs of adverse reaction. The lack of any reaction was an unsolved mystery. But now everything is clear to me now. But now everything is clear to me now. Were you writing a song? But now everything is clear to me now. The prototype parasite was incubating in the sample specimen's body for 21 years. Then from that incubating sta state, the prototype suddenly mutated. Evolved may be a more appropriate word to describe it. This observation gave me more insight into my research. Through further modification and testing, oh, this is actually William. I was able to derive a method to create the G that surpasses the performance of the T. This was the breakthrough that would change the future of the BOW's history. I can't wait to see the look of Nalexia's annoying face when I finally announce my research. But unfortunately, I'll have to wait a few more years to completely verify my findings. William Bergen. Good night, Wesky. Thanks for sticking around. Thank you for the raid. Thank you for all the love. I will. You have a good sleep, my friend. So, this is what I was talking about earlier. He's talking about Lisa. Lisa Trevor. Who was like Spencer and Birkins and uh, what's the other guy? James Marcus. Like all of these guys. Uh, main test 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 subject yeah so she was administered the parasite they're referring to is the any alpha type parasite that's what i was talking about earlier it's the same parasite that was used in the creation of nemesis and it was only possible because of lisa because lisa had the unique uh unique resistances so here's the thing a lot of people don't know the protagonists of resident evil games are immune to the t-virus it's like very small i think it's like five percent or maybe like 0.5 something very small percentage of humanity has is just naturally resistance to it and doesn't they, they can get infected they can be carriers but they cannot you know they won't exhibit the symptoms which is why an outbreak these a resident evil outbreak these regular citizens they are not immune they are infected the entire time and they're slowly becoming zombies as you play which is like the brilliance of that game so yeah that's right 
So she, instead of like dying, which would be a release or, or mutating before dying anything, she just, the first thing they gave her, the progenitor, she bonded her, it bonded to her DNA and mutated her without killing her. And then everything they added on top of it just gave her more immortality, basically. And any alpha type parasite was one of those. So because it, because it worked on Lisa, they were able to develop the nemesis for RE3. This is like, I, this is what I like about this series, how, how competently it can be written when it wants to. Okay, that was all, just the document. What about Beery? Let's get him up. You can get him up Barry. after you unlock the door as well. Barry. Uh, you're okay. Well, not quite. <laughs> Sorry. That was careless of me. Wesker. He's gone. What the fuck? You were like, you were two meters away from. <laughs> I'm gonna choke. How did you do that? I mean, I know what they're doing. They're covering for Code Veronica and onwards, but <laughs> how the fuck did he just like sneak out past the... Like, I didn't even unlock the door, did I? No, I did not. How did you get out, Wesker? There we go. That's where I can run around. That's actually even better than in the original, so makes it a lot easier. Wow. <laughs> wow, you really gotta be... A panel used to release the emergency electronic lock. Yes, of course. <laughs> I can't. Didn't even like step on broken glass. He just like vanished. He Darkwing ducked out of there. Gotta love this shit. <laughs> Self destruct system has been activated. Now you can hear her, sis. Wesker must have set it off. Let's hurry. So, like on the Saturn version, we couldn't hear it. the the original The original had different voice. It was like the triggering system has now been activated. All researchers, please evacuate immediately. But on the Saturn version, for some reason, it's very muffled. Right, time for the final showdown. Just bring the Magnum. I don't need anything except for the Magnum. Do I even save? I mean, that was a fun battle. We can do that again. Do it even better. Let's. So yeah, fuck the bazooka. You served us well, but we don't need you anymore. We got better stuff. Just pile up. Pile up on weed. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, I will need it. I know why I'll need it. Chimeras. That should like be. That should keep me until the very end. Yeah, it is calming. She's so. She's so calm about it. It's like the sex self destruct. Everybody, please hurry. I hate my job. <laughs> Hello, dirty. Hello, sweet dirty. Welcome, sister. Welcome to the stream. Good to see you, buddy. Since since we're all here, bunched up, while we're running to save Chrissy, can I get a shout out for? Uh, Dirty for Gamut. Another shout out from for Sexy Wesky. Believe me, Chrissy, I save you. Levers, levers for releasing door locks. Project Zomboid, nice. I'm glad to hear that. What the hell? Gamut, since when do you like dinosaurs? Why did you play Dino Crisis? <laughs> Alright, is it 
time fell off Chris the lock is released so we, we skip the whole thing where they walk, talk outside the bars they're gonna talk directly now I think it changes the cutscene Jill Chris you're okay glad to see you are too anything on Wesker we'll talk later first let's get going this is my favorite version of Chris Redfield Check these awesome people out, amazing streamers, very fun to watch, very similar taste in games, retro games, Resident Evils. So here we go, the, the camera angles I was, I was talking about, that I only discovered this year. They're literally, am I full? Yeah, I'm not gonna bring that. Sorry Chris, sorry. But yeah, you get a shotgun shells. Do you get anything if you pick up every single item in the game? The bed is covered in filth. Well, Chris was in it. <laughs> A dried up commode. But yeah, it's kind of like if resistance worked, it would be like this. <laughs> I love this angle. It was. <laughs> it was. Food, is, food comes first, Carter. Food comes first. Yeah, you can't fucking... He could have... Like, if, if he were crafty at all... You know what? I can't. I just can't live with myself. Um, if he were crafty at all, he would have... Uh, he would have, like, made made an explosive of that and... Just blew, blew the door up. At least tried anything. Oh, that's probably, but we'll do it. Yeah, it's, it's, for us, it's an achievement. Here we go, everything's green. We'll, we can't leave that one room red, that would just be, it would just be a red room. <laughs> so, my, my task here is not to get Barry dead. Deaded. Like, for looping videos... These backgrounds are really good for GameCube because, like, I, I assume it's not. Oh, hold on. Come on, let's go. I'm assuming it's not. Thanks for leaving me, dumbass. Uh, reading directly from the disc, it's actually buffering as it loads the room, buffers the backgrounds, and just plays them. Now, stupid door, we need to escape now. There's a lot of mutants. Mutants running around the compound. They're running loose. Why are they running loose? Alright. It is time. I didn't even need that. Jeez. Shotgun shells, bazooka, burp, burp. There you go. I'll need two slots or one slot? I think it's one slot in the, in the remake. Just an achievement. <laughs> yeah, well, like, I think it's better if it's a personal achievement. Hippie, have you tr ever tried Fear Effect, another survival horror game with 3D models moving over looping FMV backgrounds except they pulled it off on the PS1? No. I heard about the name. Oh, sorry, am I too slow for you boys? Like me who did all this? You, you asshole, you betrayed me, almost got me killed, and you, you just like, you sat in a, in a, in a cell with, with ammo in it. Are you, are you, are you okay, Chris? <laughs> Ah, fear effect, okay? Fear effect. So that's good, huh? Oh no, it's another one of these. Ah, why do this to me, game? One green. One green. Like you're wasting my... Fuck you. You put it in a box. You put one green in a box. No, I don't oh, want shotgun shields. I think that's that should be it. It's a pretty stunning looking game. 
They pushed the PS1 so hard that a three hour game is on four discs. Oh. Huh. The shortest for this game I, 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 had, I was ever in touch before I heard that is Kudelka because of all the cutscenes but man like I'm really interested in that or maybe Dracula the, the Dracula for the PS1 you know the one with two discs with two discs on two discs but yeah go kitty go be free I might even feed you tonight Yeah. So that's the point of no return. Hello, doctor. Hello. Welcome to the stream, buddy. No, I will not talk to you. Wait, where did that? The, yeah, I came from there. A charge! Wait, uh, we gotta check the bricks, guys. Look at this. We can build another house once we blow it up. So I'm assuming that shutter? Because that always bugged me. Where's the courtyard? There it is. So it's west of where I went in. And I went in here. Laboratory. B1, yep. So west of there. Could be. So this could lead to the welded door that's in the courtyard. Yeah, Doc, it's going amazing. Good to see you. We're in no hurry because the timer didn't start. It's about to. Is that it? Did we get everything? Is it green? Did we get every single item in the game? Yes! Everything is green on every map. That's how you do it. Okay. Alright boys, I'm gonna put this thing in. We all go out. And we happily fly, fly home. It's an assembly of many large fuses. It's rated for high currents of electricity. <laughs> That's not how it works! we we'll go with it. Nobody knows. Three minutes to detonation. Damn it! We're almost there! Jill, you just get in contact with Brad. No! We can make it. Jill, ladies first. Chris! Would you let me have my moments too? All right. We'll rendezvous at the heliport. She's easily persuaded like Leon. It's finally over. No, we gotta find my brother. You're right. This is just the beginning. <laughs> oh, you're back at work. Well, already tired. <laughs> you're back from work by now. I, I hope it gets better tomorrow. First day is always the hardest. Well, no hurry. It's just a timing run timer running. We're no reason for you to be in a hurry. <laughs> Loading game. All right, GameCube, don't fail me now. See the rockets. Let's take him to the middle. Is that it? Yep. Well, that's a nice looking heliport. Would be a shame if something happened to it. Damn, I didn't check him. So, okay, we didn't check one item. That's what happened last time. <laughs> like, Barry fucking died the moment the rocket flew out of the bazooka. It was really heartbreaking. So we're hoping not to get that. Jill! You made it. It was one hunter, wasn't it? And you guys are like, oh, it was really scary. Like, are you using a 9mm beretta on him? <laughs> Barry's got a silver serpent. Fucking cold python and uh, he's not even phased. Like, is my weapon... Did I put blanks in? I gotta keep his attention on me. Ow! Uppercut me, will ya? Get up, get up, Jill. Quicker, Barry's gonna die. Woo! Okay, I got... I, I got four more of those. No, reload! Okay, well, he's changing his mind. Ow. Get up. Get the fuck up. Don't kill Barry. Do not kill Barry. We need Barino alive. There we go. Wow. Okay. Okay. Come on. Don't. Don't be a girly man. Do not kill Barry. 
rocket launcher. Okay, he's not gonna kill him this time, I think. Ouch! That looks dangerous. Rocket launcher. A very destructive weapon that fires locker rockets with a large blast radius. If you ever played... Ah! 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 There you go, it works. It works. I never saw that. This is the first time he caught me like that. Wow. Alright. Hasta la vista, Tyrant. GG. Woo! Wow, I've never had that happen. This, we have we had a lot of stuff here that happened. Thank you, Lupka. Thank you so much for that. Shout out. Good. So, wow. I guess next time we'll find new, new, <laughs> new unseen stuff. I guess if I didn't try to use the defense item, that would be it. Is that an insta kill? Wow, all right, something to play with. <laughs> yeah, Mayo. <laughs> You've been playing Resident Evil. Wow, I thought this was Super Mario Brothers. I feel cheated. That was amazing. That was one of the best playthroughs of RE1 I had. It started so, so f unbelievably hard because I fucked up real bad at the, at the start. I let the Cerberus in. I was like, well, they're not going to enter without the cutscene when <laughs> I got no ammo to deal with this. It started really rocky, but here we are. We had so much weed that like if we bring this weed to uh, to Irons, he doesn't need the zombies. It's like th just the weed is enough to shut Umbrella down. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Thank you for watching and for being here with me. It's just not the same when you're doing it solo, you know? Yeah, very possible. Very possible, Mayo, because they got some... Um... Yeah, it was, because Shinji Mikami worked on both games, remember? <laughs> oh, let's see who's streaming. You good, kitty? Well, wow, very, very, very slow night. What? You... Mayor, you around? You streaming? Doc? Doc's not streaming? No one's streaming. What kind of day is this? What is this? Nope. Okay, I guess. Too bad. But it's okay, as long as you do test... Uh, sorry, dirty, as long as you do. Bye! So test this Hi, Jill. You did a fine job. 9.52. Yes, below 10 hours. I win. <laughs> Do we get the closet Bye. key? You can now play a real Thank survival mode. Thank you. The real survivor mode has been unlocked. In this mode, Bye. the item boxes are no longer linked. The item split in one item box can only be retrieved from that location. In addition, aiming changes to manual operation. This is the prototype feature that existed Bye. even before first Resident Evil game. <laughs> so we, because we deleted the saves, we started everything from scratch. Thank you. Costume key. We got a costume. So let's make that green-eyed save file. Yeah, real survival mode is not easy. Thank I don't know. I guess uh, let's 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 raid Bakbasub. No one is streaming. I can't. I refresh three times to make sure. If, but um, thank you everyone for watching. Really. <laughs> Mayor Hazard, Mayor Hazard, know what it is. Oh man, another twenty awesome points for for Mayor Hazard. 
Here we go. Alrighty, everyone. Good night. And I'll see you tomorrow with Chris's story. Bye for Thank now. Thank you. Thank you all, you lovely people.